What is immigration reform? Our immigration system is out of date and can often be deeply unfair and cruel. The call for immigration reform comes from the need to overhaul our patchwork of immigration laws to meet the security needs of the 21st century, but also to have a process that reflects our values of justice and fairness. In the Trump era, we have seen what bad immigration policy looks like, including separating children from their families at the border, turning away asylum applicants fleeing danger, mass deporting mothers and fathers who have lived in the U.S. for decades, taking away status from DREAMers and TPS recipients. But what do proponents of immigration reform stand for? There are two important parts to immigration reform, providing a fair and inclusive path to citizenship for the undocumented population already in the U.S., providing a secure, timely, and humane process for new immigrants entering the U.S. Part 1. Currently, there's an estimated 11.5 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S., most of whom are simply trying to work hard and raise their families. 66% have lived in the U.S. for more than a decade. 4.1 million U.S. citizen children under the age of 18 live with at least one undocumented parent. They pay $23.6 billion in income taxes each year. Contrary to what many Americans think, these undocumented immigrants can't just get legal. Under our current immigration system, there is simply no way for them to. The Trump administration seems to think that mass deportation is the answer. This would be inhumane, tearing millions of families apart, devastating to the economy, affecting 2.4 million mortgages, and reducing the GDP by $4.7 trillion over a decade, opposed by 71% of the American people. Immigration reform would create a pathway to citizenship for longtime immigrants who have lived in the U.S., worked hard, paid a fine, and passed a background check. Most Americans support legalization. 81% of Americans support giving undocumented immigrants a chance to become a U.S. citizen if they meet certain requirements. Part 2. Immigrants are important to the U.S. They help grow our economy, build our businesses, enrich our culture, bolster our demographics, and strengthen our families. In order for the U.S. to remain competitive in the world, we need speedy channels for new immigration that works for our country's prosperity. This includes adding visas for entrepreneurs looking to build businesses in the U.S. and for workers to fill labor needs. Removing per-country quota limits which would help reduce backlogs. Increasing the number of work visas both for highly skilled workers and low-wage earners. Strengthening family reunification, reducing a massive backlog, and reuniting spouses and children with their parents and ending Trump's discriminatory Muslim and refugee ban. On the border, our asylum and refugee policy should include increasing port of entry infrastructure, personnel, and resources for processing asylum-seeking families efficiently, fairly, and humanely, hiring more immigration judges for more timely asylum hearings, ramping up regional cooperation, including in-country refugee processing and restarting programs ended by Trump, using more effective and cost-efficient alternatives to indefinite detention, Ensuring asylum protections for victims of domestic and gang violence, which the Trump administration attempted to curtail. Increasing the cap on refugee resettlement dropped to historic lows by Trump. Six years ago, Congress made a major bipartisan attempt at immigration reform through Senate Bill S-744, which would have provided a pathway to citizenship and reformed and expanded the process for entry for new migrants. In 2013, the Congressional Budget Office said that the S-744 immigration bill would have reduced the federal deficit by $197 billion over the next 10 years, added $276 billion to the Social Security Administration over the next 10 years. S-44 overwhelmingly passed the Senate on a vote of 68 to 32, but failed to be taken up in the House by conservative Republican leadership. Though S-744 never became law, something similar should. A record high 75% of Americans say immigration is a good thing, and most Americans have for a long time agreed on the major components of immigration reform. Even Sean Hannity once said he supported a path to citizenship. Immigration reform could help bring millions of future citizens out of the shadows, guarantee that America has a growing, diverse, and effective workforce that can address the challenges for the future, and ensure that America continues to stand by our highest ideals.